Yes, is it going? Yeah. Okay, so here are the words from today's conversation class all around our lovely topic of death this week. Here they are. If something is intriguing, another great word is enthralling. It's interesting, it's really mysterious. You want to know about it. If you're complaining, here are all the words we've already learnt. Grumbling, moaning, whining. Sorry if I've spelled that wrong, I'm not sure. If, if you are a genial person, the best synonym is friendly. But these are great, agreeable, nice and pleasant. If you've concluded something, you've decided it. We'll talk about that later when we talk about your exam. Now, if you're astonished or if you're astonished or something is astonishing or you know there is astonishment here, that's the noun, the best uh, synonyms are things like surprise or amazement. Uh, perplexed, confusion, perplex, perplexed, it really works further down here around disturbing where something is confusing but it's a little bit scary or it's a bit upsetting and that's where we use the word disturbing. It's all around, all of these things are around confusion but this is more positive and this is more negative or challenging. Now, we use the word briefed today as a verb. You are briefed about something. You are informed in a short way. You're given a summary. No real detail, or as Bogomol said, very little detail. And the word briefed, it comes from the, um, the adjective brief, which means short. Now, if you are moved, you're touched, you're stirred, you feel quite emotional. Imagine your insides are stirred up. That's why we use the word stir. We take a spoon, we put it in the liquid, and we are liquid, aren't we? We're stirring each other and we get emotional because of it. If something is inconvenient, here's a lovely new word for you, cumbersome. And it means it's difficult, it means it's not easy. Mm. If you give your condolences, consolation. You say, sorry, because someone has died. Yes, it's all about death today. Bereaved, you are bereaved, you are, means you're sad because someone has died, you are grieving. Thanks very much for that, Adil. This is such an important word around, um, not just death, just around stuff that's going on in a sadness and grief. Um, if you concentrate, you focus, and if something is critical, it's serious, it's dangerous, it's deadly, it's severe. Thank you for all of those it's great synonyms, Bogomil and everybody else. These are the words for today. I'm going to do a bit of feedback and then I'm going to give you more.